to a five minute mysteries review again. <laughs> Once again, as always, I'm Jacob Smith. I am your host. And uh, today I have something <laughs> kind of belief changing to talk about. Uh, it's really interesting because long ago I um, thought I swore off ever doing a mem deck. It's just, I never saw the big deal about it. I never saw the big deal of stack deck work. Uh, even though I've seen some phenomenal stack deck work during my time with Penguin and online, you know, I just never really saw the value on it. Then, um, and very well, I've seen a few excellent things over the years from this gentleman, but he's never shown me the stack deck work just as impromptu, like out of his last book, Applesauce, which you can find a review for on the channel as well. Please do check that out if you want a quality book of just strutting impromptu card magic ranging from open prediction to memory feats, everything. But today, of course, we're here to talk about this beautiful volume, Temporarily Out of Order, The Redford Stack by Patrick George Red or George Tate, <laughs> a.k.a. Uh, you'll hear me trip up going back and forth with his name multiple times, trust me. So. What all is actually in this lovely tome on the uh, Redford Stack, and what's the big deal about the Redford Stack itself? Well, the Redford Stack is quintessentially one of the most stunning, incredible stacks you'll ever see, uh, or won't see, per se, because it is very, very invisible. Now, with the Redford Stack, you're going to be able to essentially make stack a memorized stack morph into say Cy Stebbins um, into say uh, you know stay stack then you can go back to <laughs> Cy Stebbins the Redford stack then it can move into a bunch of other crazy stack tricks that you know George just took the time such as candy by uh, Chris Mayhew hi Chris I hope you're watching this um, <laughs> Yeah, it's really kind of crazy what all you can just do with this out of the box, no pun intended. Now, what's really nuts about all of it, what's really nuts is just the simple fact that this stack can do so incredibly much work into it. And it's relatively easy. Once you know the memorized stack, it really becomes quite self-working from there, which is a really big positive... Um, positive thing on my part, because I try to do as little work as possible, despite the fact that if you ask me ever do coins and everything, I can blow your mind with coins. I say that with confidence and love. Um, which, by the way, I should probably mention, during our conversation there, I have actually transitioned from stack to stack, and now uh, I am actually in Redford stack. For example, um, name a random number. A good 17? No, no, sorry. I think you were for 23. <laughs> okay, let's say it's 17. 17, um, for those who did work on, gotcha. So, for 17, for example, I know that is going to be the um, three of diamonds. One. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17. Oh, there we go. I miscounted one. The three of diamonds. So, <laughs> and bearing in mind, I've been uh, working seven days straight for the last few months, and I've only been able to devote about four hours of time to this. Yeah, I've got the stack enough working order that I get quizzed all the time by my significant other. Good thing to have a supportive significant other that actually helps you with this stuff. Uh, thank you, Sarah, if, you're watching, if you end up seeing this. Uh, it's my girlfriend. And it's just crazy what you can do with it. All the things you do is stack deck and more. So any poker hand called for with minor adjustment can be dealt to from stack position. Uh, I mentioned all the stack transformations. Um, essentially, a, a humongous amount of cards can instantly be spelled to as well. There's just so many built-in features of this that is absolutely bonkers. You're getting like mnemonica on steroids, but it's obviously not mnemonica. So, I know what you're thinking, because you're going to be like me, you're going to think, 
well, this all sounds great, and I've seen the videos, which if you haven't seen the videos, check out Validity, which is an incredible just single card location where you just literally put their hand on the deck, they imagine pushing the card from the middle of the deck up to the top under their hand, and they do it. And uh, I know George has got some killer extras to that he's going to be putting out in the next few books. There's more books coming! Yes, there's more books coming. Temporarily Out of Order is just the first in a series, from what I understand, by George. And hopefully we'll see some work of Ben Blau and some more in there as well. Because I know Ben has some incredible stack work. Just incredible work in general. He hasn't shared with anybody yet. That he's been so kind to share with me. Hi, Ben. So, Temporarily Out of Order has approximately 30 different effects in it. Ranging from a, a whole chapter on Pharaoh effects. Um, so for those of you that are scared a lot of the stack works going to involve a lot of pharaohs. It really doesn't for the most part. Um, most of the stack transformations don't use pharaohs, and I believe they're, and, uh, the only one that Rain uses that you'll probably will use, that uses an in pharaoh and out pharaoh, is going to be the standard, you, which I'm sure some of you have probably seen, a new deck order into Psy Stebbins. That's probably the most you're going to really use, per se, using the pharaoh to do stack transformations. The main effects in the book that use pharaohs are exclusive to that section. Uh, I've been performing One for Mo a lot, also known as OFM. You can find a video of that online of George and Ben Blau uh, doing it. Essentially, George does the Ben, Ben gets fried, and um, you just know the power of the effect, because Ben's hard to fool, he's a smart guy. Um, but, whole point of it being, incredible effect. It starts off as this amazing memory demonstration, and uh, then transitions into this kind of bizarre card at number effect where you, it's just crazy. It feels so hands-off and looks really nice and so haphazard. It's all, everything I love about really good card mentalism or magic. Uh, the Danny, it kind of has the Danny Dortizi feel to it, but without, you know, it's just, it's really nice. Just watch the video. You'll see exactly what I mean. Twain is also another one I've been building on and working on. Incredible effect that has, involves two people. The actual namesake of the book, Temporarily Out of Order, is a stunning five-phase effect where you feel multiple coincidences, the deck is going in and out of different orders that the spectators are dealing the cards into somehow and they can't figure out how. You can see a video of the 13-minute performance, which is worth every penny to watch, or every sense of time, sand, grain of time to watch, because it's phenomenal, it'll make you want this even more. Best part is, for the most part, it's absolutely self-working. Really, the slights in here are great, too. Things such as the Dan Fishman Fall Shuffle, the, uh, the various OC cuts, the Redfish Shuffle, which is the best Fall Shuffle to use with a cyclical or memorized deck because it does, you can do the deck, uh, a, a false um, overhand shuffle face up, and it looks incredible and, and fooling. You see multiple cards go by. <laughs> That's really a great concept. I use that quite a bit. How to get into a stack from a shuffle deck. So while you're doing other demonstrations, they range from memory to doing poker deals. I, I'm a big fan of the 30 card poker deal as well as the handlings that Leor Manor has on his, which are also stunning. As well as those uh, Woody Aragon. Unfortunately, Woody's I don't think it works as much with this. It may if you adjust it, but as is, I know it doesn't off of Woody Land. But there's just so much in here. I can't really go over everything. Look, trust me. This book's taken me from a guy, a lazy guy that would refuse to use and learn a memorized deck. Even after seeing Jan Foster do his incredible demonstration of memorized deck, with a memorized deck that fooled the crap out of me, you can see the video of that on, if you get the lecture actually, and see me get completely fooled. See if you can find, see if you can find when he rings the memorized deck in. I, it, it fooled the crap out of me live, and I watched it on video and it's invisible as well. So that being said. Temporarily out of order is temporary. No, it's just all the time, just solid, stupid, good stuff. You're going to find some revolutionary um, card magic, in my opinion, in this. Uh, bearing in mind, I'm not an expert in cards by any means, so take me the grain of salt to an extent, but the stuff in here is just crazy good. So many people switching over from Pneumonica to the Redford stack. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. You must pick it up. It's sixty dollars. It's gonna absolutely kill you. It's beautifully made. It's got the uh, best pages I've seen in a book in a while. Best layout with a nice rubber cover. Um, 
George really produced, put his heart and soul in this, you can tell. And it's the stuff that really he hides and saves to kill you later on. And this is only the first one, so you know you're going to want the rest once they come out too. So don't be left behind. Get this guy. Don't be fooled by it. Let yourself fool other people with it. <laughs> and you can find this at patrickredford.com or your favorite magic dealer generally. Support your brick and mortars, but support your creators even more. So, is this your first mystery arts video you've ever seen? Mm. <sighs> Go to bed without dinner. <laughs> no, but please do subscribe below. The content's only get better from here with uh, new production equipment, new special guests coming actually very soon. Um, all kinds of this crazy good stuff on the horizon. I hope to make a free resource to all of you out there. Um, so please do tune in, subscribe, uh, like the videos. If you can, share the videos. It definitely helps me out. Definitely helps our lovely creators out, such as my friend Patrick Redford slash George Tate, but he doesn't need any help. He's <laughs> brilliant enough on his own. Um, but please do subscribe. Please tune in. And once again, thank you so much for watching. Give me your time. I know you'll never get it back, so I hope every second of it was worth it. Thank you. Oh.